I was told yeah. to hustle on over here, man. What are you doing? Well, I'm working on a bayonet, and it's probably a World War II. Uh, I don't know if you actually should work on a bayonet like that, because sometimes you're better off just leave them alone. They might be worth $250, $300. So anyway, right in here, okay, you squeeze those together, and this out here, okay, is the release. Uh, that's All right. And so this, your weapon. that goes onto the barrel, then there's an attachment up by the barrel, or on the barrel, where this actually clips in. So it would probably go in this way, and that's on top, like that. All right, now it's uh, it's actually not very sharp, it's did, really thick. Who gave this to you? Well, there was a guy that just came by, he bought two sharpeners, asked me if I'd work on this, I said yes. Um, the back of it, I'm not gonna mess with it, I'm just gonna mess with the, the belly of the knife, where it, 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 I don't, most bayonets aren't supposed to be sharp. They're stabbers and jabbers and hole punchers, not cutters. You know. But when you're bored on the battlefield. Yeah, when you're bored on the battlefield. Hey, so can, we gonna, get a, can we get a slice test on that? I'm going to work on this one. Okay, that's like so-so. I actually worked on it already just a little bit. So let's see. That's not too bad, but you have to help it. So we're going to do just like this. Take the 90 degree corner, slide it down the blade on a little bit of an angle this way or a little bit of an angle that way. At about a 10 degree angle like that on the cutting edge, let it turn a little bit and then just start moving it. I can come back this way, go out that way. I can set it down and work on it just like that. This is a convex edge, so I'm going to keep it a convex edge and I can roll it towards the, the backbone and back down here towards the apex of the blade just like that turn it over, do it again this way. I can just slide it all the way out like that, like this. Then I'm gonna flip the knife every pass, polish the wire edge off the blade, just like that. Move right along if you choose to. I sharpen about 120 knives a day, three days a week average going on 15 years. I've sharpened a lot of knives. Uh, can all someone right. comment on that math for us down below? Just like that. All right, let's see what we got now. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, just like that. So let's do just... Uh oh, it's got a burr on this side. And here's how I know. Okay, looking right in at it like that, it, see how it'll, it'll catch and grab and take the knife with it? When I go this way, it doesn't really want to. That means there's a burr curled up on that side. And I can actually see the cutting edge, so I know it isn't that sharp. If you can see any shine on the cutting edge, that means it's not sharp. All right, so let's just get busy here, right on out like that, turn it over, do the same thing on that side like that, touch it light. Now I'm going to flip the knife every pass, polish the wire edge off the blade, and it should cut a lot better this way, just like that. That's, that's much more gooder. All right, so now we have that. And for a bayonet, I think that's probably where I'm going to leave it because it really actually bites. And if it'll catch and take your fingernail off, that easy, it's sharp enough. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. You take care.